sales of the second generation of the bestseller started in March 2014. Moreover, cars for the Russian market are assembled in Toliati, at Apto VAZ. Three 1.6-liter gasoline engines with the capacity of 82, 102 and 113 horses are installed on domestic-made sedans. All engines are initially combined with the five-speed mechanics. The most modest of the engines for some time worked in tandem with a robotic transmission and 102 horsepower with a four-band automatic. In 2018, sales of the restyled Logan began in Russia, which changed the shape of the front and rear. In addition, two more modifications appeared. Logan Stepway with increased ground clearance and a plastic body kit around the lower perimeter of the body, as well as the Stepway City version equipped with the CBT. It is worth noting that the first Logans that came off the VAZ conveyor did not differ in high-quality assembly. On some machines, the body panels were skewed and the gaps were uneven. The driver's door and the trunk lid were especially badly adjusted, which rubbed against the bumper when driving. In the cabin, the sloppy fitting of parts was also conspicuous. For example, on some cars the air conditioning drain pipe was not properly routed and water accumulated on the floor at the passenger's feet, and on others the door trim was crooked. Only after a year and a half of refinement and debugging of the technological process, the sedans acquired the proper appearance. With age, the steering wheel and gear lever are very quickly rubbed in the cabin, and the hard door upholstery wipes the door panels to the metal. But the rest of the interior elements are doing well. The paintwork, although not particularly durable, is much stronger than that of Korean and Japanese competitors. The weak point of the body is the rear wheel arches and sills, they are usually protected with an armor film. Do not bother about cracks at the junction of the rear pillars with the roof, there will be no corrosion or other negative consequences. But with the installation of additional sound insulation, many owners immediately agree, although compared to the first Logan, the second generation of the sedan has become noticeably quieter. In addition, this operation allows you to get rid of crickets, which become more numerous in the cabin with age. After all, the plastic used in interior decoration is quite hard and creaking in the cabin is possible even on fresh cars. Engines A set of engines, gasoline, fours of the K7M and K4M series with a capacity of 82 and 102 forces, respectively, the second Logan inherited from its predecessor. Engines are simply indestructible. In general, they remain the same after the localization of production in Toliati. For Renault Logan II, the junior K7M unit was significantly upgraded. A more reliable camshaft and catalyst were installed on it, and the software was also updated. But the 102 horsepower engine has not changed much. Both units are sharpened to Euro 5 environmental standards. I must say that for the weakest 82 horsepower, for such a transition was quite painful. In cold weather, there were problems with starting the engine. However, the French quickly made a new firmware, which completely relieved the engine of the problem of cold start and floating speed. And for the K4M unit, the updated software solved the problem with the cold start, but the floating speed remained a headache for the owners. Only comprehensive measures helped with the use of new software and the replacement of intake manifold and throttle valve gaskets. On both engines, a toothed belt is installed in the timing drive, the replacement of which is prescribed every 60,000 kilometers. However, Renault decided to increase the interval to 90,000, while the related parts of the mechanism remained the same. Therefore, in order to avoid premature breakage of the belt, we advise you to adhere to the old regulations. But on the H4M series engine, known for many Nissan and Renault models as HR16DE, a metal chain is installed in the gas distribution mechanism drive. Moreover, the engine has earned a reputation as a powerful, reliable, and durable unit. According to the servicemen, this four will easily serve more than 300,000 kilometers before overhaul. True. Subject to a reduction in oil changes from 15,000 kilometers recommended by the manufacturer to 10,000. Indeed, in difficult Russian operating conditions, oil scraper rings can lie on this engine after hundreds of thousands of km, and the timing chain resource is also reduced. Therefore, our recommendations are not empty words at all. By the way, the production of the H4M series motor is localized in Toliati. They say that in quality and durability it does not differ from its prototype. Transmission. All three engines are initially mated to a JH3 manual 5-speed transmission. The base unit can also be equipped with an easy or single-plate clutch robot based on the JH3 manual gearbox. 
However, this transmission did not take root on the Renault Logan 2, and literally a year after its appearance in mid-2015, the modification with the robot disappeared from the sedan model line. The main reasons are the vagaries of the control electronics, thoughtfulness when switching and frequent adjustments of the clutch setting point. But the, the mechanics are unconditionally reliable and durable, as they say, it dies with the car, and more often it survives it. However, the manual gearbox does not have a reverse gear synchronizer, which is why the inclusion can occur with the crunch. This is a design feature of the box and should be taken for granted, and servicemen also advise updating the oil in the unit every 90,000 to 120,000 kilometers, and then the manual transmission will definitely outlive the engine. But you can't say the same about the DP2 automatic transmission. The joint development of the Peugeot Citroën and Renault concerns is not the most outstanding creation of French engineers. The box does not like sharp starts, slipping in mud or snow is strictly contraindicated for it. Created exclusively for urban use. But it has been repeatedly upgraded, so today, with timely and competent service, it will last up to 200,000 kilometers. The valve body can be called a weak unit of the unit, from 45,000 rubles. As soon as you feel jolts and jerks when shifting gears, urgently go to the service. In this case, the sooner you apply, the more likely you are to get off with an inexpensive repair. Clutches, on the other hand, burn from abrupt starts from a place and high loads due to the low performance of the cooling system. Although the latest versions of the machine, DP2, were equipped with an upgraded heat exchanger. However, not everything is so bad. The box is quite simple in design and inexpensive to repair. The capital on it will cost a maximum of 100,000 rubles. Suspension. But for the suspension, that kind of money is definitely not needed. The only weak point here can be recognized as ball bearings, which are assembled with levers, and, of course, change only as a set. The part takes care of an average of 40,000 to 70,000 kilometers, and at the same time it costs quite same money, 3,000 rubles each. For a unit. Racks, 1,100 rubles each, and bushings, 600 rubles each of the stabilizer would stand about the same amount and even more. But shock absorbers, 3,500 rubles front and 2,500 rear, can last up to 120 to 150,000 kilometers. Moreover, both the springs and shock absorbers are suitable from the first generation car. And that's almost all, because there is practically nothing to break in the rear suspension. In steering, the rod ends, 1,200 rubles per set, were at risk, which, nevertheless, serve an average of 60,000 kilometers. But the rail itself does not cause problems up to 120,000 kilometers. There were no problems in the braking system either. You should not chase after the original pads, which are characterized by excessive hardness and quickly worn discs, so you have to update both consumables. It is better to purchase a high quality and cheaper non-original, which will last a little less, but you will change the discs after two or three pad replacements. At each MOT, check the condition of the CB joints, their anthers must be intact and without oil leakage. If the oil seals are leaky or grease has leaked out of them, the granat will very quickly become unusable, and it costs a lot of money. In electrical equipment, the bulbs of dimensions, brake lights, and dip beam are often lit, and the left steering column switch often refuse to execute commands, or vice versa spontaneously turned on the high beam. The node usually changes entirely. Often the fuel level indicator blunts, and the windshield heating for many works only halfway. Well, in general, the second Renault Logan is comparable in terms of reliability and maintenance costs to the first generation car. If you don't want problems in the future, you should not take a modification with an automatic with high mileage. Not the best option in cars of the first years of production. However, they are not included in our review.